Okay, so let's say I want to find the exact shaded area um, underneath this curve, between the curve and the x-axis, and the curve is given parametrically as x equals cos t, y equals sine t, and t is going from 0 up to pi. So the first thing you really want to do is to identify those endpoints okay, of the curve and figure out the t-values that go with them. Now you know that the curves go between 0 and pi, so you just want to determine which one's 0, which one's pi. So when t is 0, okay, when t is 0, we would have x to be cosine of 0, okay, which we know is 1, and y equals sine of 0, which we know is 0. So 1, 0. So that makes sense as that point there. So that's 1. Okay, so that's when t is 0. Now, this point over here is going to be when t equals pi. So t equals pi, so x is equal to cos of pi. So cosine of pi, thinking about how the curve is shaped, is minus 1. And y equals sine of pi, well, that's just 0. So this is minus 1, and that is uh, when t equals pi. Okay, so actually what we've got here um, is a semicircle. Okay, so if you haven't spotted it yet, this is uh, half of the unit circle. So we can double check. So if we are um, thinking, right, it's a semicircle, so we could use a half of pi r squared, right? So the area should be one half times pi times r squared, so 1 squared, so it should just be half of pi. That's what we're expecting the answer to be. So let's check whether that's true. So we'd be integrating, so the area, we would be integrating between t1 and t2, so from pi to 0. Right, get those limits around the right way. And then we've got y, which is sine of t. And then we've got dx by dt, right? So cosine of t differentiates to minus sine of t dt. Okay? So what's that? Well, we've got uh, this to be equal to pi to 0 of minus sine squared t dt. Now, if you remember from the previous video, if you've got the limits one way round, you can flip them and you can and multiply through by minus 1 all at the same time. So 0 to pi of sine squared t dt. Okay, now, in order to integrate sine squared, I'm going to have to use a double angle formula. So we know that cos 2t is 1 minus 2 sine squared t. Okay, from our trigonometry. So rearranging that, so if you haven't seen double angle formulas, you'd need to know that in order to access this problem. So sine squared rearranging will be, um, what's that? 1 minus cos t over 2. So 1 half of 1 minus cosine 2t. So this is equal to the integral between 0 and pi of 1 half take away 1 half cosine 2t dt. Right, what have we got then? So, half integrates to a half t. Take away, now integrating that, we'll get 1 quarter sine 2t integrated between 0 and pi. Okay, open up brackets. Now, substituting in pi, we'll get half pi. Sine of two lots of pi is zero, so that'd be zero. Substituting zero, we'll get zero there. Sine of zero is zero. Leaving us with the half pi. As confirmed using pi r squared.